Hi guys, and welcome to my channel. In this video I'll be showing you how to prepare your own gesso to apply on uh, wooden surfaces, MDF or something like that, to paint on. So, enjoy the video. Okay guys, so this is what you're going to need. Some PVA glue, some baby powder, some water, a container to mix it all in, and a roller to apply it in the end. You can use a big paintbrush if you like, I like the roller, uh, even though you use up a bit more of your gesso, uh, it does spread out a bit better. And obviously something to mix it with, uh, an old brush, if you have a small whisk, that's fine as well. Right, so I have exactly half the bottle of glue here, okay? I've used it before, so but I know it's exactly half. So what I'm going to do is pour the glue in there, okay? And for every part of glue, you get two parts of water. So if I were to put one bottle of glue, I would put two bottles of water. Okay, so we just pour that in there. That's half a bottle. Now I'm going to fill that up with water. Get the rest of the glue out. Okay. So this doesn't have to be exact. Um, this is just a guideline for how I do it. Okay. Then after you put that in there, you give it a good mix. So this is a very cheap formula to make. I will say um, the runnier it is, the more self-leveling it is, but the more coats you're going to have to obviously apply. Okay, so the glue actually acts like a sealant so your surface won't suck in all the paint and stuff um, it will give you a, a durable surface as well and then the baby powder is going to act like uh, like well chalk or anything any other powder you'd put in there like uh, like they use in gesso okay so that's going to help to give the paint something to stick to. Okay, so now again, there's no specific measurement. Okay, I have about let me see what does this say. This says 200 grams, so I'm guessing I'm, I've got about half, so that's going to be 100 grams. Now, the amount that you put in there of baby powder is just going to, oh, this is going to be depending on how you want your thickness. If you want it more consistent, you know, or if you want it a bit more runny. Okay. Now all you do is you mix it all up, get, make sure that there's no clunks and stuff because that obviously is going to leave, um, you know, an uneven uh, spot on your canvas or whatever surface you're going to be painting on. Um, you also need some acrylic paint, uh, some white paint. Uh, I recommend doing that. Uh, I just add some in the mixture to make it uh, a whiter surface to paint on. Okay, you could also apply it like this, and then um, and then just paint white over it. So just normal acrylic paint. Add a bit of white in there again no set mixture just you know freehanded okay guys so this is the surface before applying the gesso I'm just gonna pour the gesso on here and roll it and then show you once the first coat is done okay so here we have the first coat done I actually cut it along this side a little bit because it was broken on the end and this way it's gonna match another painting I've done so first coat done, I'll show you the second coat, applying it is pretty simple, I, I could have shown you on the first, but 
this is my roller there's my gesso and just pour it on there a little bit as you can see it's quite thick thick now it does get whiter uh, once it dries okay so I'll show you after the third coat should be completely sealed already okay guys so that's pretty much it it's pretty straightforward I've got three coats uh, done on mine and um, if from there on you can if you want it extra white you can always just uh, apply a layer of white uh, mine's white enough for what I'm going to do so hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button thanks for watching